Well, welcome everyone. Uh, Krista Hershala here with Delegate Solutions. We are a premium virtual assistance firm. And I have the pleasure today of speaking with our good friend and partner, Kate Norton from Vision Spark. We're going to be talking about why now is a great time to find and hire superstars and how exactly to do that. So, welcome, Kate. Thank you, Krista. It's always nice to see you. And thanks to Delegate Solutions for really hosting this platform. You guys have just hit it out of the park since this whole COVID craziness has started. I think you guys were on the front end of just bringing people together virtually. And so I just thank you for that. Well, thank you. Yeah, we, we are fortunate in that we have so many wonderful partners who have so much expertise. And so we wanna, we wanna get that out there, including you. Um, so just a little bit of an introduction about who Kate is. Kate uh, is the Director of Client Strategy at Vision Spark, and she works with small to mid-sized companies to provide them with strategic help, making critical people decisions, which are so important always, but especially right now. Um, Kate and the Vision Spark team are passionate about helping clients improve the health of their teams, as well as to build a strategy to hire superstars, which is what we are talking about today. Excited to do that. So Kate, um, again, welcome and let's let's jump in. So with all of the, the challenges and the uncertainty that so many businesses are facing at this time, right? Always facing challenges, but especially at these times. Tell us what you're seeing in terms of companies recruiting in this, this kind of crazy and, and chaotic environment. And share is, you know, now really, is it a really good time to hire a superstar? Yeah, you mentioned the, um, you know, the people component being such an important factor. Um, you know, it always is with businesses, especially the businesses we work with, which are usually small to mid-size entrepreneurial companies um, that are in growth mode. And uh, now more than ever, the people component is so critical. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, it is a great time to hire superstars. Um, you know, really the COVID kind of craziness aside, it's always a good time to be, you know, to be looking, you know, the Gallup poll, they do these polls every year and they find that, you know, usually there's about 60 to 70% of current employed um, folks who are open to new opportunities, which kind of surprised me. That's when high. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I was just taking a look. It's it's holds true for 2020 as well, um, you know, despite the whole COVID situation. But yes, it is a great time. Um, we do know that the candidate pool went from pretty low, you know, end of February, early March to it certainly is larger now and especially in certain industries. Um, but with that said, here at Vision Spark, you know, we really focus on those um mid-level and leadership level searches. And we're finding that, you know, those folks are looking as well, regardless of the industry. Um, we've had some some searches recently where two, 300 resumes have come in. So it's an awesome time to be looking. And um, I, I would encourage employers to know that, that people have their feelers out. So it's a really important time to focus on team health too. Yeah, absolutely. Those are all such great points. And it's, um, we're in such a unique, time period right now. And it's a great time for an employer to find really amazing talent that um, maybe wouldn't otherwise be available. And, and folks that are really now saying, hey, you know, I'm in this situation, whether it was a furlough or whatever, um, this is an opportunity now for maybe, you know, if my company's not bringing me back to find a great new opportunity and for that company to get an amazing hire. I agree. And, you know, I think that just we're all feeling this sense of just looking at the bigger picture of everything right now. And, you know, even my husband, when he talks about, you know, the industry he's in, people who have been in certain places, you know, certain employee, you know, with certain employers for years and years and years are looking to move. Um, and so I think everyone's just kind of like having a, uh, a moment of a bigger picture look. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I really think it's important to to take a look at how to go about that process if an employer chooses to hire. Um, yeah, it's, it's you know there's some important things that we would recommend for sure. Yeah, well, you know, to that point, if, if I'm a company hiring, what should I be thinking about in terms of attracting the best candidates, right? Because there's there's maybe more people out there looking for jobs, but how do I attract the right candidates? Like, what should I be thinking about? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, you know, there are a few things that we would really recommend from you know all our years of doing these searches. Um, 
you know, first and foremost, I, I think employers and companies really need to focus on their culture and core values and be talking about it, you know, not only within the workplace, within their, within their employees now, but also, um, you know, live and breathe those, that culture and core values. Um, it should be on social media. It should be, you know, a point of conversation in the lunchroom. And, you know, really it should be part of any job description or we call them position profile that's posted is really kind of bringing that culture and core values into that position profile. Um, you know, speaking of that, you know, we also recommend one of those things that you really want to focus on is having a hiring process. So if you don't have a hiring process, it's time to figure that out. Yeah. Um, the position profile is one of the pieces of the hiring process. Also interviewing, screening, how you're vetting, um, which brings me to then that third piece that we always recommend, and that's having some type of assessment as part of the hiring process. And you know, there's so many assessments out there. There are. It's overwhelming, right? I mean, th yeah. there's a lot. There are a lot, and people really love the assessment they love. And um, I, I would say that there are wonderful assessments out there. The assessments that we feel like are important as part of the hiring process, um, really focus on mental aptitudes. And not mm -hmm. assessments out there have that, but I think you wanna find one that has the mental aptitude component um, because it's really important for speed of onboarding. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, so, so there are a lot of assessments and tools out there, right? And they're really important in terms of getting at the, the right skill sets, as you said, aptitude, um, mm -hmm. fit, in a lot of cases. So does Vision Spark have any specific tools to get that right person in the right seat? What does that look like? Yeah, I mean, we have actually, um, you know, we, we are, like I said, we recommend the, an achiever assessment. That's the one that we use. And what the interesting story around that, it's not our proprietary assessment. Okay. But it's the one that we landed on. We took a look at a lot of them. I mean, there's like 1500 out there. So we certainly couldn't be experts at all of them, but we did take a look at the ones that have those mental aptitude components and landed on this one um, because we think it answers the question, you know, should I hire this person and is this the right person for the right seat? So the Achiever Assessment, we feel like does that. But what I love about, you know, the story around the Achiever Assessment is we had really no intention of it becoming um, a service offering. It's just something that we were utilizing as part of our vetting process when we would do a leadership level search. And our clients, you know, kind of came back to us and said, well, what was that? Can I use that for a sales manager? Can I use that, you know, for an executive assistant? And so, um, we're like, yeah, <laughs> that's something that you can work with us on. But, you know, it, it, certainly I'm not here to, you know, promote one over the other. And I think, I, I believe that a lot of the assessments play nicely in the same sandbox, um, you know, in terms of if you really love Colby, you know, a lot of our, our companies that we work with are companies operating in EOS and they love the Colby and, and it really works synergistically together. But yeah, I think it's just have something like that on board, especially now. Um, you know, to make sure you do have the right people in the right seats, number one, and also as you're bringing people on to assess for capacity and um, fit. Yeah, it, it's critical. And I think you make such great points. Every organization needs to be using some tool, whatever fits with your organization and what you're looking to achieve, obviously. Um, but that has to happen in order to make sure that you're really being thoughtful and that you're getting those right people in, in those positions. Because as we know, it's terrible when you don't, right? When, when it's the wrong person uh, in that seat. We do see that a lot where folks are coming to us and are really struggling around their accountability chart. And now more than ever is a time to maybe take a pause and to be looking at that accountability chart and yeah. just if you have the right people in the right seat. Um, we, we do have a, a tool, I think, you know, maybe pop up on your website and Delegate Solutions. It's the Superstar Score Sheet tool. And it's just a, a way, it's something that we offer for, you know, no charge. It's just a way for um, leadership team members to put their, you know, their direct reports through a lens. And it really looks at core value fit, capacity, aptitude, ability, culture fit. And, it, and it's a way to rate them from like A players to C players. That would be something that we'd love to offer, you know, the folks that that subscribe and listen to these chats. It's a, a superstar score sheet. So love to do that. Thank you for offering yeah. that. That's fantastic. Um, team health in general is so important right now. 
Absolutely. Um, it, it absolutely is. So we, we are getting toward the end of our time um, for our chat, Kate, but you all are always working on so many interesting things over at Vision Spark. Um, anything you're currently working on that you want to share with our audience? Yeah, you know, it's funny, kind of like I mentioned before, a lot of our services come out of our clients saying, hey, you know, this is something, this is a need we have right now. And one of our three uniques is that we customize. So um, we customize our products. And one thing that we're working on is uh, a team analyzer. So kind of going along with what we talked about, health of teams, we're taking leadership teams and we're putting them through the Achiever assessment and taking a look at, um, you know, how their mental aptitudes and personality dimensions line up with success patterns in their individual roles and then looking at them as a team um, and that's supposed to be really an interesting service that some of the the visionaries the presidents and the integrators that we work with are really loving so that's called the team analyzer and uh, just through this whole kind of craziness with COVID it's been it's taken off you are busy right yeah. busier busier than ever with that which is is a blessing that's wonderful it sounds like a great tool and people should take advantage of it so where can people go if they want to continue the conversation with you all yeah, so you can go to our website, you know, all our tools are on our website, visionsparksearch.com. And then I, um, my job in, you know, business development and client strategy is to do the discovery calls and just kind of learn about what the pain points are around the people component aspect of businesses. And so certainly they can reach me, Kate, at vision-spark.com and i um, happy to, you know, kind of just learn a little bit more. Awesome. It is always a pleasure to see you and talk with you. And thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it, Kate. Thanks, Krista. Thanks for Delegate Solutions. Appreciate you guys. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.